Hey everyone, how you doing today? Jesse here with Nomad Bears, and today we're going to talk about teaching. Now we've been talking about teaching for the last week or so, but today especially I want to talk about my first day teaching. Because that was a really nervous and anxious day for me, and probably one of the most anxious days I've had here in Taipei. So if you've ever thought about teaching English and you come here and you've done the training program and whatnot, and you are ready to teach, you have your lesson plan, and you're just waiting in that first day, that can be a really nervous and nerve-wracking experience. But overall, it's going to get better. You're going to have no problems once you start. Just do that first class. So here's my story on my first day and my first day teaching English abroad. It had been two weeks since we'd gotten to Taipei, and in two weeks, I had gone in almost every single day and observed one or two classes. And those classes, I'd taken notes, figured out what my fellow teachers had done well, what I think I could have used, tried to develop my own teaching style in my head without actually having taught, which it can be a kind of difficult experience. Trying to do, trying to understand something you've never done, with like just by observing. So, at that point, I had created my lesson plan, and I had someone help me create the lesson plan. I had someone help me create the lesson plan for the next month and half after that. So I had a lot of support to create and build a, a lessons and figure out and start teaching. So that first class. Was a class of ten to twelve year olds. They were learning how to ask for help at a doctor's office, uh, how to say "I am sick," and so a bit more advanced English. So I was ready to teach that. I was excited to teach that. Um, and that entire morning before, though, I was doubting myself. The class was at one p.m. and. That morning was so nerve-wracking. I spent it just sort of like I can't have coffee. I'm gonna just sit here shaking because I was so anxious about teaching. Um, but when the times came to actually start teaching, it got better. And I went into the class. I'm like, "Hi, I'm Teacher Jesse. I'm from Canada," and. They were like, "Hi, Teacher Jesse," and now they weren't the most enthusiastic because they had literally just finished nap time. Okay, that that one class I have every Wednesday has a nap time right before, so they were still asleep from that nap time, and they weren't really fully addressing that they had a completely new teacher and that he was、uh, fresh from Canada. Um, but I started the class and I followed my lesson plan. And my biggest problem in that first class was being able to follow the pacing and to know when to do this and when to do that, and when I needed to finish an activity and start the next one.、Um, and I actually completely forgot when the break time was, so I almost ended class like 15 minutes before. I was supposed to end it, and then I was sort of scrambling at the end to figure out another activity. And at this point, I have a bunch of activities in my head, where which I already know, and I can just be like, "All right, we're going to do this." But at, but that first day teaching, I'm like, "What do I do? It's the、uh, I'm all on my own here. I don't know what to do." But anyways, it was fine. I was able to do it. I figured out stuff to just sort of do it. I bided my time. And the class ended no problem. On Wednesdays, I have one class right after another, so I went immediately into another class, which was much younger. It was I'm teaching colors, so a completely different experience. And after that, I had already gotten a better idea of pacing and a bit more classroom management. So that class went a lot smoother. Than the class before. Every class after that has gotten better and better, and it's continually improved. It was getting past that first class and saying I can do this that was the hardest part. 
Now, I did have some doubts, and afterwards I'm like, what am I doing teaching English in Taiwan? I have no idea what I'm doing here. But in the end, it's worked out. And those thoughts have gone away, and now I know what to do. I can create lesson plans quickly. I know how to adapt the class if something goes wrong, or if it happens that I walk into class and eight of my students are on holiday or something. So I'm able to adapt to change if it's been three months, and to anyone out there thinking about teaching her who's sitting there the morning of their first class and nervous, I can tell you and reassure you that you're not going to have a problem. You're going to find that it gets better and you can continually improve at this and learn more as you grow as a teacher. Let us know down below your stories about your first day or if you're thinking about teaching, any questions you have or doubts or fears. Next week, we're going to talk more about teaching abroad and we're going to actually have a Q&A session where we're going to answer a few questions. So let us know your questions and concerns about teaching and hopefully we can answer them next week. In the meantime, subscribe, give us a like. We really appreciate it. And if you enjoy our videos, continue watching and have a great day. Bye for now.